my channel. If you're new here, I'm Jasmine and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be painting! So I have all my painting supplies and everything like that and as you guys can probably tell by the title of this video, I am going to be painting shoes! So these are the Walmart shoes and I saw people do like the trend where they would paint these Walmart shoes that look exactly like Nike Air Force Ones, just minus the Nike logo of course. And these were $15 and this is what they look like. I already tried them on just to make sure that they fit and they are so comfortable. They even have memory foam on the inside. So yeah, I am so excited to be painting these because they I'm just so excited. So I have the paint and everything that I need to be painting my shoes and I got all the supplies and I also took some videos of me getting the items that I needed while I was in the store. So I will insert those right now. Okay, so I'm in Walmart right now and I'm in the shoe, shoe section because um, I want to paint shoes and maybe Sabrina will do them with me so that'll be fun. And I'm looking at the shoes. They have a lot of them. Look, there's those all the way down to the bottom and there's so many. So I'm, I'm a nine and a half because my foot is huge. Anyways, so there's... This isn't that shoe. Okay, hang on. So this is a nine and a half right back there, but that's not the same shoe that I want. So this is a nine, ta-da, nine and a half. So I have to try these on before I make sure that I don't get the wrong size. <laughs> okay, so I tried the shoes on and they fit really well. So I'm happy about that. So now I'm looking for the like paint because I have like this color scheme-ish that I want to do. And I want to do like these grays with like this one like mauve color. And I saw that the brand Apple Barrel had like that color and I'll put it on the screen because I really like that one. So I'm gonna see if they have it. So I'll let you guys know if I can find it. <laughs> so pretty much these are the pinks. These are way too bright because I don't want it to be like bright, bright pink. And then this one is like nice-ish. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so this one's pretty dark. And then they have some more down here, but then these are the glossy ones and I don't want gloss paint and they don't have the color that I'm looking for in it either. And then, yeah, they don't have it. Do they have it over here in these? Let's see. Okay, so I couldn't find the paint that I wanted, like the color, so I'm sad about that. So I might have to check some other stores, but I got this gray, which is the granite gray, and then I got this darker one which is a pewter gray. And I wanted like two different grays, so then I thought it would look really good. <laughs> okay, so then I need paintbrushes. I have these, which I don't like, cause those are like the fuzzy ones. And I think I have something like that at home and they're not really good to paint with. Um, those are too thin. These are too thick. I might get this one, cause this one has like bigger ones and like skinny ones in it too. So, and then that one's too big too. So I think I'm gonna get this one. So yeah. Okay, so I think I got everything I wanted except for that one paint color, which I'm sad about. So I'll have to check somewhere else. But yeah, now let's go check out. Okay, so I'm in Hobby Lobby. <laughs> I forgot my memory card at home. So I'm on my phone right now. <laughs> um, So, I was looking for this paint color and I'll put it on the screen cause I have a picture of it and I was looking for it and I couldn't find it. And then I was like, okay, maybe if I click on the picture then I'll be able to like figure out, oh, there's people in that row. <laughs> I'll be able to figure out if, <laughs> if like what stores have it or like if it's available anywhere and I figured out it's discontinued. Yay. So now I am looking for the paint aisle is that it? No, this is puffy paint. We don't want puffy paint. Is this it? No. Where's the acrylic paint? I found it. Yay. This isn't the exact brand that I wanted, but they had, it was supposed to be like an apple barrel brand, but they, that's the one that's discontinued. So I saw this on Hobby Lobby's website. So I wanted to see if they actually had it in store and they did. And it's like this mauve, mauve color. It's really pretty. 
So, yeah, I think this is pretty much it. So yeah, now I got paint. Okay, so I have all the supplies that I need that I showed you guys that I got in the video. I drew this image, <laughs> kind of like what I want the design of my shoes to look like. And I'll insert it on the screen so it's easier for you guys to see. And I'm just going to be following like this design. And I tried using the colors that I got so that it would be easier for me to see. So the paint that I got, I got these three. I got this mauve color. And this paint was so hard to find. So I have to go into like four different stores to actually find this because I first found a paint that was by this brand that was like the mauve color but then I didn't check and then I figured out later that it was discontinued so that made me really sad but luckily I found this one and I got this pewter gray which is a darker gray color and I also got this granite gray which is a lighter gray color I have these paint palettes it came in a set of six and I don't think I need six but I have my paint palettes and then I also have my paintbrushes because obviously I have to paint with something. And then I have some Q-tips. I have this Mod Podge acrylic paint sealant so that you could uh, seal the paint onto your shoes so it doesn't like rub off super easily and stuff like that. I have some rubbing alcohol and I also have some paper towels and obviously I have my shoes because I'm painting them. So yeah, I'm super excited and let's get into painting my shoes. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to make some room on my table, and I'm going to take off these tall things because I don't really need these right now. And I'm also going to put down my paper towels, but I need some paper towel for the table just in case if I mess up. I'll just take, like, I don't know. Let's do this way. So I have some paper towels, so just in case if I mess up. Hopefully that's not a lot. Um, so yeah, now let me make some room. Okay, so I'm going to start off by taking off all like the tags and the unnecessary stuff that were on the shoes. Okay, so now that everything is off the shoes, I am going to take the laces out because we don't want to paint these. finished taking the laces out and everything I am going to start painting them and I am going to start off with the light gray which I am going to use right here on this toe part and I'm going to use it on this heel part in the back so I have my paint I'm going to take my paint palette so let's shake it up so it's nice and good <laughs> okay so now that I have shaken my paint I am going to squirt some in my paint palette it kind of matches my walls <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to use this paintbrush, and I think I'm going to start here on this toe part. So, let's do it. Okay, so I finished the first layer on the toe part. It's not perfect, I know, but this is just a super thin like first layer to make sure that everything was even. And now I'm going to do this heel part. While I'm working on the heel, then this toe part will have some time to dry, so then I can go over with the second coat. Okay, so I finished the heel. Here's what it looks like, and again, it's not perfect, but I decided that I am going to start painting this shoe with the exact same color and like the exact same spots so that this one has a little bit more time to dry. So let's start with this shoe. I'm going to start with the toe with like the same. Okay, so I finished this one. I finished the toe and I also finished the heel and this one it should be dry by now, so I'm going to start the second layer on that one while this one dries. <laughs> so, I'm going to start with the toe since I did that one first. Okay, so I finished the two coats for both the toe and the heel on both of the shoes, and now I don't, I don't think they are going to need a third coat because it like seems pretty full coverage and I think like the color is pretty vibrant on them already so I washed my brush and now I am going to be doing the dark gray one which is going to go right here all the way around to this side so I'm gonna do that on both shoes 
So I'm going to take my paint, I'm going to shake it up, and I'm going to put it in my paint palette. This is a pretty dark gray, but I'm really excited. So I'm going to put one of this shoe, I'm going to, yeah, I'll put this shoe aside. <laughs> I'm going to put this shoe aside, and I'm going to start painting this shoe from here all the way around. I'm done with the first coat and this one was a lot harder because it's darker so it goes on a lot thinner so this will probably need I don't know maybe the two will be enough for it but we'll have to see it might need three so now that I'm done with this one I am going to set this aside so that it can dry and I'm going to work on the other shoe okay so I think I finished the first coat on both of the shoes these are what they look like. They obviously aren't perfect. So this one has been drying while I was finishing up this one. So I am going to start the second coat on this boot or shoe. Sorry, not boot. Why am I talking about boots? Okay, so I have finished the dark gray and this one is a little bit more dry than this one because I just finished this one. And this is what it looks like. And I think it doesn't need a third coat. I was actually really doubting it in the first run because it looked like really see-through. So I thought I would need three, but it looks really like opaque now. So I think this is fine. So that's what it looks like. <laughs> and then this is what this one looks like. And then the last color I have is my mauve color. And I'm so excited for this one because this one was really pretty. <laughs> so I have to brush, like I have to clean my brush because I can't paint with gray and pink at the same time <laughs> okay so i'm back and now i added some paint like i put a paper towel here on the tongue so just in case if like the paint either goes through the holes or just in case if i mess up and accidentally go there it doesn't get on the tongue so yeah i have my paint and i'm going to shake it up and then i'm just going to add it into my paint palette so that i can start painting this looks a lot like a pink <laughs> okay it's like a really, really, really light pink. So let's see what it looks like on the shoe. Okay, so I finished the first coat of the pink mauve color. Um, so it was it's a lot lighter than what I expected. I thought it would be like more like this this color that's on like the paper on the wrapper. Um, but it turned more like a bubblegum pink or something, or maybe even like a little bit more darker than that. But I still like the color, so it's fine. But I'll see it once I add the second coat. Maybe it'll turn out to be a little bit darker. But yeah, so these are what they look like so far. And then now it's time for the second coat. Painting shoes. Yep. This is what they look like so far. <laughs> okay, so I finished painting my shoes. I'm not completely finished yet. I don't know what I'm going to do yet with them, but this is what they look like. There's two coats of all the paints on the shoe, and I have to leave them to dry for 24 hours before I, if I decide to see if I want to do something else. This is a 360 view of them, and I'm really happy with how they turned out. I'm a little disappointed about the color, but I still think that this color matches like the two grays really well. So yeah, I really like these shoes, and yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow. Okay, so I'm back. Today is the second day. My shoes are completely dry, and these are what they look like. I really like how they turned out, but the pink dried a little bit more opaque in some spots. So some spots are a little bit more see-through than others. So I think I'm going to be going over those a little bit. And I also want to fix up some of the edges for like the darker gray, fix up the edges for like the pink. The lighter gray turned out really well. I don't think I have to fix anything for that. But yeah, I think I'm just going to start by fixing these. I'm going to start by fixing the pink one first since that one is like the biggest one that I noticed on the shoes. So I'm going to shake up my pink paint and I'm going to start with this shoe. Okay. 
Okay, so I finished doing some touch-ups on this shoe and I think it looks pretty good and right now it is drying and while I let that one dry, this one has been completely dry and I haven't been doing like the touch-ups on it yet. So while that one is drying, I am going to start working on the bottom of the shoe. Right here, this little ridge, I want to see what it looks like if I paint that part of the shoe this pink color because I think I've seen people do it with their shoes and I think it looks really cool. So I'm going to start it right here in the back to see how it looks without like the ridges so that it's a lot easier. So just in case I, if I don't like it, I can easily like wash it off. So yeah, I'm really excited to see what it looks like. So while that one is drying, let's work on this one. The bottom's a little bit messy, but who's going to be looking at the bottom of my shoe? I think I like it, so I think I'm going to continue doing it for all the way around my shoe. Okay, so I finished going around the edge. This is what it looks like, and I think that it looks really, really good. So, I'm going to let this dry. The bottom isn't too pretty, but I'm going to let this dry. I'm going to put it on a paper towel so I don't mess up my table. And yeah, I think I'm going to start working on the other one. So, yeah. Okay, so I finished painting my shoes and I finished adding all the final touches and everything. Now I have to wait for this to dry 24 hours. And then after it is finished drying, we have to spray it with this Mod Podge acrylic sealant. And I will see you guys tomorrow when my shoes are all ready to be sprayed. Hi again, guys. So today is the next day and we let the paint dry completely and we made sure that it wasn't wet at all and everything was completely dry. And then I asked my mom if she could spray it with this Mod Podge clear acrylic sealant to seal the paint onto the shoes so that it wouldn't come off. And she finished spray painting them like 10 minutes ago. She sprayed two coats on. The first coat, she waited 30 minutes in between each. So she sprayed the first coat on, waited 30 minutes, and then she sprayed the second coat on. And this is what it looks like. I don't really want to touch them, but here they are. And they're a little bit shiny, but I think that they turned out really good. And I actually like how the pink dried because it dried a little bit darker than when it went on the shoe. And I'm just really happy with how my shoes look. So yeah, now we have to wait for these to dry for 48 hours so that they are completely all done. <laughs> Okay, so we have finally made it to the last day. We've waited 48 hours for everything to completely dry. And these are what they look like. I'm really happy with how they turned out. They're a little bit still like sticky where I touch them, which is kind of weird, but it'll probably go away after a while. But it's good that like my fingerprint doesn't like stay on it or something. But we did what the can said, and they should be completely dry by now. We put the laces in it, and I really, really like how they turned out. They look super pretty, and I'm just really happy with them. So here, I'll give you guys a 360 of what they look like. So this is one side, the front, the other side, the back, the top, and the bottom. And I'm actually really surprised at how the bottom didn't turn out super ugly, because I wasn't even paying attention to it. But yeah. I'm so excited to try these on. Okay, so these are what my shoes look like and I'm really happy with what they turned out. I'm trying to zoom in. That's what they look like from the side. And I really like them. I think the colors look really good together. And I think that the pink on the bottom looks really nice. So I'm really happy with how they turned out. This is the end of the video. I hope that you guys enjoyed. I am really happy with how my shoes turned out. I think I did a pretty good job and I really like how they look. And I'm pretty proud of myself, but yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed. I want you guys to comment down below if you guys have ever tried painting shoes before. For me, this is my first time, and I think that I did pretty good, and I'm really happy with how they turned out. But yeah, also don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. Love you guys. Bye!